I'm Cassandra Yal, and I'm here today with one of my three beautiful daughters. Hi, Sharks. I'm India, and, and we're the Bumbling Bee Vegan Junk Food and Burger Bar. <laughs> <laughs> Sharks, we're here today. I like, for I like that. Fifty thousand dollars for ten percent. The harmonization was cool. Har yeah. Sharks, when you think of vegan food, you think bland and boring. Well, we are crushing no, I think that of, I think of Oreos. <laughs> yeah. Plant-based food has to be just twigs and berries. Our vegan junk food is twigs unlike anything you've ever mm -hmm. had before. Ah, yeah, that, that looks good, right? That looks that looks I mean, pretty awesome. I mean, yeah, you know, I, I while it, willing to try it. Our juicy clucker, a double dip fried chicken. Our award-winning Coney Island chili cheese yeah. dogs served the hand cooking fries, or fat cheese wow. burger dripping with their cheddar cheese sauce. I wish you would talk faster. That'd be kind of cool. With one of our sweet nectar milkshakes. <laughs> wow, that looks that looks really good. Junk food and burger bar is the new generation of fast food. Whether you're dairy, <laughs> he's like, I don't, I don't, I'm not buying this concept. I didn't even understand what you said. You spoke so fast. You were bumbling. Okay, well, I just, I just want to get to the food. Vegan, vegetarian, or flexitarian, or just. A what, little herbivore, curious. <laughs> Hold on a second. What is a flexitarian? Oh, Have you ever heard of that before? I've never heard of flexitarian. And did you hear her last little joke? Uh, little uh, herbivore, herbivore, curious. herbivore <laughs> curious. Oh, that's Look, cute. I eat my salads. <laughs> uh, you know, I I just had a salad for dinner. You know, I, I you know, but I, I it was chicken on that salad, so you know. No, a flexitarian though. You know, I hadn't heard of that, but we were looking at this prior to uh, actually doing the the, the show tonight. And I looked it up, and what it is, it's a diet uh, that's a style of eating that encourages mostly plant-based foods while allowing meat and other animal products in moderation. It's more flexible than fully vegetarian or vegan diets. So it's right up my alley, because just like you said, I'm all about eating greens and, and eating vegetables. I love yeah. my veggies. But, uh, you know, I'm from Texas, and i got to have me a little <laughs> moo cow from time to time, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I, uh, I, I, I don't. How is that? Di how's flexitarian different from like literally just being normal. a normal person? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just like eating, just uh, American. Well, I don't know. I, I eat. It's, it is a thing that I've been known. You got to gotta, do. everything has to have a title these days, Joe. Uh, everything has I, to have it, a look, title. In my book, in my first book, I wrote. I, I, I taught. I kind of dunked on titles. I think titles are are, are terrible. <laughs> I'm a fatitarian. <laughs> and now our mom is our queen bee, but we do need some more honey to help us pollinate hives across the country. Sharks to be or not to be? That is the question. Uh, you got some wrapping skills there, don't you? <laughs> Hang on, this is all vegan? Yes. All of that is vegan. Every 100%. Bit. Oh my god. The mac and cheese is really what? good. <laughs> Uh, can we get? <laughs> I love it when Robert loves something that he's eating. He gets so passionate about it. He is. He is. Maybe he'll uh, he'll he'll find a way to get a deal in here. Oh my God, the mac and cheese is really good. We have won the award for best hot dog in our area, and I don't mean best vegan hot dog. We won best hot, hot dog. dog. Where it's not your hot dog. You must. It's get not our hot dog. It's what we do with it. We put our magic spin on yeah. it. So tell us about tell us about wow. the restaurant. Absolutely, we have two restaurants. That's a, that's impressive to be able to take a vegan product and then win, beat out other hot dogs. I mean, look, I'm not the biggest hot dog fan in the world hey. by any stretch at all. But uh, that's pretty that's pretty awesome. So ding ding for that. Uh, India runs Virginia Beach, Virginia. My other daughter Olivia, who couldn't be here today, runs Boulder, Colorado. We decided to become a vegan mm. company at the beginning of 2019. What were you before that? I was a real estate investment broker, flipped a lot of houses oh. with my husband. Unfortunately, I got trapped, and that was the market crash. So when the market crashed, I had $10,000 to my name. So the market I went crashed in 2019? Uh, well, 2020, when you couldn't buy any more houses because of COVID, because nobody was selling their houses. And now apparently we're like on the edge of like one month of inventory. So that my, the, there's a very big potential for a, a, a drastic crash. Uh, apparently, you know, Larry, if you have a shed in your backyard, you're willing to sell, you could probably get about $600,000 for that shed. If it has air well, I was definitely surprised at the, at the price my house would, uh, would garner when I heard it the other day, I was like, for real. <laughs> but the problem is, is where are you gonna live once you sell it? About time to find an apartment. <laughs> what can I do with this money? So I started with a food cart, a hot dog cart. Took my money from the hot dog cart, bought a trailer. Took the money from the trailer, bought a truck. And nice. I got it to the point where I had four trucks <laughs> plus a backup truck. 
Yeah. And wow. I got to the point where it wasn't okay. worth it to me anymore to kill myself for that kind of money if my kids weren't interested in being part of it. I needed something that my daughters could be a part of. So that's when I said to them, what is it going to take to get you passionate about this? My other daughter, Lexi, was a healthy vegan. What's missing in the market? Junk food. Well, can I ask your yes. economics? Because in order to franchise, you have to be able to operate at about 17 to 20% pre-tax profit per location. We are at a 15% margin. Last year, switched over with our first truck in June. Then we opened up our brick and mortar, which was my commissary, in October. That's what you want. You want more brick and mortars, right? No, I want both. Tell me your okay. sales for last year. 194000 for one truck part-time and one brick and mortar that opened in October. Now, what's this year going to look like? $324,000 came from Virginia Beach, Virginia, which was closed for six weeks. Yes. And Boulder, Colorado, which opened January 16th and closed April 4th and reopened July 25th. And with that, we wow. also pulled back our food trucks. Right. We had to pull back our food trucks because events were canceled. And how are you doing that? You're we still do. open or? Yes. Heck yeah. You have huge spunk Thank and passion and, and obviously and she is. Grit. She's driven. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. No, she totally is. And uh, that's, some, that's some great sales. So they, they have two locations, if I understand it correctly virginia beach and boulder colorado mm -hmm, uh mm -hmm. that that is awesome and so and to be able to operate something on both sides of the country is phenomenal right like that's not an easy feat it's, it's not even an easy feat to, to operate like four towns over five towns you know, more than like <laughs> literally within the same parking lot like getting everybody yeah. on the same you know uh on the same page with each other the food quality being there and really any process at all uh and i've been there right we we had 10 locations all up and down the east coast and they all had to operate you know pretty closely so we could move and plug people into those different locations when people got sick or on a vacation things like that so uh it's it's awesome to see that she was able to take a food you know food cart and turn that into uh into trucks and and really run with it uh very very driven Big dings. Uh, I do want to point out, though, that apparently some people aren't giving us dings, Larry. Apparently, what? this is the most useless channel on the Internet. Uh, what? I, 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 I don't know. I don't understand it. But apparently, this person watched because they needed to know the uh, the conclusion of one of the pitches for one of, uh, in one of these BizCoach Reacts videos, not because they wanted to see me or, or Larry here or any of my other guest biz coach, biz coaches that come on, but because they needed to see Shark Tank through the end and guess what guess what larry tell me now we gave them the end of the pitch and yet that still wasn't good enough apparently we are the most useless channel on youtube ding 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 we win something we yeah. got a label joe we got ourselves I, a label the most useless channel ever i love it i i love it but either way i appreciate you commenting i appreciate everybody that comments below you absolutely should i'm there pretty much all of the time uh or you know you can get at me at super joe part if you want to tell me how useless my social media is at this point that's okay too i appreciate you uh you reaching out and taking your time to uh imp partake in uh making me my day feel better uh that somebody would take time out of their time to come and give me some of that time but let's see <laughs> if you could give some time and smash that like button for the youtube algorithm so we could get this video in the hands of some entrepreneurs that could actually use the most useless channel on the internet now let's find out if the bumbling bee is the most useless food truck uh to carnivores <laughs> lots of, you know lots what of i think we need i think we're missing the shark that we need though we need barbara here tonight for this pitch i think barbara yeah. would be all over it she's the food truck queen she would be the ideal partner, but let's see if, let's see what happens here. We yeah. might get somebody. With Robert you. was Firecracker. excited. Um, Firecracker, right? So where do you think you get your drive from? My parents separated when I was very early. My mother was a, she's recovering now for almost 50 years, but she was an alcoholic. And I grew up in the homeless shelters. I learned how to dumpster dive at eight years old to get my food. But that wow. led me to understand that I wanted to be a stronger person. I wanted to have control of where I went in my life. I will never be hungry. I will never not know how to make money. And I don't think that I would change anything because I would not be the woman I am today. It's a great good story. You. Well done. Yeah, good for you. Love That's, it. You know, Love they it. say the strongest swords are forged in the hottest fires. You're beaming. India, Thank how you. proud are you of your mother? <laughs> I love her. She's amazing. Like I said, she's a firecracker. Are my girls awesome? I 
find you so inspiring. I, I, I love it. I love it. it. She is inspiring. She is uh, a, a great picture of what you can do when you, you have so many setbacks that are not your fault, right? It's not her fault that, you know, her parents uh, put themselves in the situations that they are and they put her in that situation that she was and she was able to to get herself out of that situation and then excel from there uh, so you know ding ding I, I absolutely love the story and the challenges that you overcame but for me I don't see enough differentiation between other things that I've seen I'm not completely drawn uh, to the food and for that reason I'm out thank you there's not that one thing that makes it impossible to copy Right. Your execution, your relentlessness will make it successful. Anybody can copy McDonald's. But McDonald's also started in 1955 right. and was one of the first with drive throughs yes. and drive throughs. And we're one of the first vegan junk foods. Well, yeah, uh, and that's true. But again, it's you haven't gotten that scale yet where you can yes. say to everybody else, we don't care what you do. Right. right. Which just makes it very hard. So for those reasons, I'm out. Oh, man. Well, before anybody else goes out, Larry, tell the super entrepreneurs who you are, what you do, and how they can reach you. Hey, guys. I'm Larry Roberts. I am the host of the Readily Random Podcast and the owner of Readily Random Media. And if you have a brand, if you have a message, you just want to tell your story, you can do it through a podcast, and I can help you make that happen. Hit me up at readilyrandom.com. Let's work together and bring your story to the masses. And you absolutely should. I'm Super Joe Pardo. And if you want to work with me on growing your business's profit, go over to superjoepardo.com. You can get my free Profit Rocket Guide. It give you five free uh, proven methods that I use when I work with businesses one-on-one -on -one to grow their profit in their business. Uh, go to superjoepardo.com slash rocket to get that free PDF guide. If you want to get at me, again, I'm in the comments below on the most useless channel ever. It's not hard to find, apparently. Uh, <laughs> or at superjoepardo on all social media. So let's find out if this buzzing, bumbling bee is able to bumble its way into a deal. At this point, I, I, I think mm. somebody somebody has got to be. I mean, Robert was like, oh, my God, I got to have this. Like he was stoked, but he's already pulled back on his excitement. You saw him just a minute ago. He was agreeing with Mark that it's it's easily, uh, e easily, easily replicated. Yeah. Well, so it was a, a, a ugly sweatshirt. Amazing job. I mean, you know, it's one of the great things about business. It gives you the freedom to do the things you love and spend Absolutely. the time with your family. Absolutely. I will tell you. In California, I've seen this. Yes. And it's a race, whether you realize it or not. You're not the first one. You're not the only one. There's lots of them. That's right. And I would never bet against you and the Bumblebee family. So you're gonna you're gonna you put some money in, right? That's that's what, what you're saying. I, no, I but I'm out. Yeah. But as a business, I don't oh. know if it's ready for an investment until you get to a critical point of scale. Only for that reason, I'm out. I think that That's uh, disappointing it would to hear. be smarter for you to not expand, to stay solid and grow what you have right now. I'm not going to invest. I'm sorry, I'm out. We appreciate Man, it. That was kind of harsh, dude. I'm yeah. not going to invest. I've never, I don't know that I've ever heard, but I heard that. I, that was just mean, Lori. Yeah, I. Um, that's that's a shame. That's a shame. Well, it's, I mean, it's I'm definitely sure Kevin, not in Lori's wheelhouse. Kevin, I mean, it's Kevin not. Kevin might come in with a uh, with a deal for you know. His, yeah, of course he will. Ten percent uh, interest. Sandra, I, I really connected with your story because I lost my father when he was thirty-seven. I was raised by my mother, and she uh, was very tough. But I learned from what she did that that gives you power. So, for you, obviously, you've learned that, and that, it gets me emotional just thinking about. He it. is emotional. Look at him. He, yeah, he, he definitely, yeah, he's, he definitely he's, is. His eyes he's are a little, little damp. Yeah, yeah. But your numbers, they're not investable. You need to make at least five hundred thousand per location on a twenty percent pre-tax profit. And you know, I try and keep the discipline of not letting my emotions tug me into a deal that doesn't make economic sense. And that's the only reason I'm out. Uh, well, I do hope that you will all come and eat at it. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. It's our Thank pleasure. You guys are amazing. Been Congratulations. That's a shame. Thank you. Well, we're going we're gonna to check out the website here in a moment. Bye. It's okay, right? I am the woman that I am today because of what I've been through and where I've come from. I've raised my daughters to be the women they are today based on that. Yeah, I don't think we're ever going to stop. And they didn't say to stop, though, right? No, like, they I, didn't say I, to stop at all. No, they, 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 they just told want you to keep get, going. 
yeah, keep going, keep pushing. They didn't, they didn't say anything about you know sh- taking it out behind the barn. Uh, no. So he- here's their website: uh, 100% plant based comfort food, which is which is nice. I I, I think that's it's a great message right there. Uh, doesn't say anything about uh, you know Shark Tank yet. Here's the so as we least this at least this website's got some faces on it. How great is that? Ding ding, and it, it you know it's the daughters. Uh, I assume is that the mom? I. Yeah, I guess it's a, well, that's the mom I think right they there. used a picture of a picture. Like they took a photo oh, of a photo. Oh, it is. It's kind of what it looks like. Yeah. yeah, I think you could. Yeah. Well, you know what it is, is they're all in different places, apparently. So getting them together to do a photo is probably kind of difficult. But you could have at least took it to like the Walgreens and got it scanned or something. <laughs> um, <laughs> Tell them, Joe, I'm so mad I can't. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, look, the food looks great. Here's here's one thing I do notice, though, right? Like, you got bases, but here's what you're missing. And I, I, well, I didn't talk about this in the preview video uh, that we shot the other day, but there's no picture of the truck. Where is the truck? Oh, that's You're a truck-based yeah. company. Where is the truck? I'm going to click on catering. Still no, no truck, truck there. Is there reviews? Okay, so very happy. People are very happy with the uh, the bumbling bee. Uh, Four point five stars out of thirty eight reviews. You, you got to get those reviews up more, especially now that you're you know onto the uh, you know the Shark Tank platform. Um, you know, here, okay, cool. So they, they got definitely got some some steam there. Fifty two hundred, yeah. fifty three hundred uh, people like it. Uh, I, you know, I'll give them a like. Let's get them to fifty three hundred. Uh, <laughs> I yeah, I mean that's that it's it's awesome. Looks great. I'd love to try it next time I'm down in towards Virginia, Virginia Beach. I have uh, some extended family Ugh, down there. Look at that little slice of heaven. Wow, that does look good. That's vegan. It's like a brick. <laughs> like, uh, man, it's I'm about to somebody's uh, window. <laughs> I'm about to go flexitarian right about now. I'll tell you that. If that's <laughs> Uh, let's, let's see, uh, where is there, do they have a, uh, an Instagram feed or, uh, doesn't seem like it looks like you can order online, which is, Hey, that's, that's good to know, but you gotta get some pictures of the truck, like, you know, truck and maybe some people enjoying the, the food, uh, would be, would be nice. Uh, and uh, the food looks great, you know. Hey, I, check out Yelp. I saw they had a Yelp link up there. Let's see what oh, Yelp's got to Where's say about the, it. Yeah. Oh, right. the, uh, and reviews. No, no, no. Go back home. Up. Yeah, there it is. Oh, right there social. Okay. The Instagram. There's and Instagram. Yelp. And they got to get their yeah. Facebook there. Oh, Instagram. Page is uh, not available. Uh, uh, broken. Go back to Instagram. Huh. Wow. That's mm, mm. that's not good. I think I need to go register Bumbling Bee food truck well, for them. Just for sure the record, that. Bumbling Bee folks, I did not tell Joe to click on the Instagram link. I said go to Yelp <laughs> and Joe. <laughs> All expose right, their all right, Instagram all right, failure. All right, all right. Uh, hey, look, we've I've actually registered somebody's Twitter uh, for American Grill because they had the link to their Twitter and they didn't actually register the name. So I registered, registered it for them and put their link there. And they can contact me. If you're watching this American Grill by chance, reach out to me. <laughs> I will turn it over to you for free. It's not a, you know, I'm just trying to do do due diligence for you guys. You know, watch watch out, you know, for people. Uh, let's see. Got lots of lots of good reviews. Uh, sixty reviews, four, four stars. stars. Sixty. I mean, that's not terrible. Is how do you how do you sort by? Oh, this is like way blown up here. Okay, here we go. Uh, Yelp sort will go by lowest rated. Smells terrible inside. Was charged for meal, then was told they didn't have any food what? available. <laughs> what? Terrible experience. Wow. Okay. So, and there's this really long one star review. Here's the problem with one star reviews, right? Here's the problem with any negative feedback. What you need to be doing as a company, it doesn't matter if you're them, if you're somebody else, reply to them. Reply to those reviews, and you you're not going to change the mind of the person that's repli- that you're replying to. What you're doing is you're is showing other people that are reading those comments that you actually care and you're actually paying attention. So please, please go through and reply to those bad reviews. Reply to the good reviews too, but you know, reply to the so bad ones. They have a sandwich what? called the Mother Clucker. <laughs> is that what you were laughing about? Yeah. Oh, uh, and it was bad apparently, or 
Uh, my wife got the mother clucker with Cajun. It doesn't surprise me that the, that they would have food named after the. <laughs> her mother clucker was very good. I thought her mother was very good, and I thought that her fries were. Uh, but her fries were super cold without any Cajun season. So that denoted. Uh, well, I don't. I don't know. I'm not going to read the whole thing. You can go and read the whole thing. In fact, I'll just put it up here on the screen so you can pause the video and and watch it, uh, read it through. But <clears throat> after you do that, if you could just. Smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm so we can get this video in the hands of more super entrepreneurs like yourself. Get subscribed so you never miss another Biz Coach Reacts video or one of my super lunches on Wednesday at noon Eastern where I break down a business uh, soup the nuts. We go through the website. We go through the reviews. We go through everything to figure out where the weak points are, where they could be stronger uh, in their, their business game. And uh, for Larry Roberts, I'm Super Joe Pardo. I hope you have a great day. Take care.